Folche. Welcome to Irish Gaelic Grammar 101. It's Misha Shuan or Bite Size Irish Gaelic. I'm Shuan from Bite Size Irish Gaelic. And this is a new series on Bite Size Irish Gaelic's YouTube channel to help you to crack the code of the basics of Irish Gaelic grammar. Today, let's discuss gender. In Irish, there are two grammatical genders, which are called inkshni. That's the Irish for genders. Inkshni. Masculine and feminine. Masculine in Irish is firinchnach. 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 And feminine is buninchnach. Buninchnach. Usually, living creatures which are male are named with masculine nouns, and female creatures are named with feminine nouns, as would be logical. All inanimate objects are either masculine or feminine. The gender usually depends on how the word ends, or could be completely random. A foolproof way to know a word's gender is to search it in the dictionary, which is very easy to do these days as Irish dictionaries are freely available online on websites such as chonglin.ie or folklore.ie. Let's now look at the entry for cow on Folklore Gaelgeberla, the in Irish English dictionary on chonglin.ie. It appears like this. As you can see, there's a little if following the word bow. This means that bow is feminine. If bow was to be masculine, it would be followed by a little m. It's important to know a word's gender, as a lot of grammatical changes depend on gender. I won't go into how and when these changes occur in this video, as that would take quite a lot of time. You can learn all you need to know about gender in the Irish language by taking a free trial of the Bite Size Irish Gaelic course, which you can find at www.bitesize.irish.